Welcome everyone to the next episode of our wonderful Casa de la Tierra or the Efficiency Zoo and today it's going to be an overhaul episode and yeah we've we've actually um, kind of uh, experienced that over the last couple of episodes that the lemurs overall don't really have a good time in their habitat so what we're going to do today we are going to change this habitat dramatically and um, by saying so I basically gonna rip it apart completely and gonna redo it as as best as I can um, mainly because the animals are always stressed and I think I'm gonna change it mainly uh, so that the keeper um, can only traverse to a certain area of it and the animals can then go to another one uh, but yeah overall uh, we will gonna have to delete this whole part over here because I see no point in getting the keepers over there or even though I might try something else first and then we're gonna see how this turns out but overall I don't think it's gonna work out but we will see now I'm just waiting until the sunlight is actually a little bit better. You can see there are also protesters all the way, even though the animals do do quite well. Um, we have to just see and um, make it a little bit better uh, overall. But um, yeah, I'm just waiting until the sun is in a, in a position that it is kind of helpful because at the moment it's quite quite dark over here. Um, but I think this is fine. I'm gonna pause the game. And yeah, as I said, today we'll be all over making this habitat a lot better. So my biggest issue was obviously that the animals did not really use um, the climbing frame so much. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to first of all and this is the the first little thing I'm going to do here I'm going to first of all bring a wall in here so that the animals cannot really see anything um, or like let's say um, that they don't go through here and we're going to do this with a uh, one-way glass so we're going to put this just in between here uh, I'm just gonna move this ah well you, you, can, you can just go in here I don't I don't mind this too much just goes like so and like all the way up so that it yeah we do just shouldn't go through this uh, rope there but whatever and then um, I'm going to do this as a natural barrier because you don't really need to see that anyhow um, why is this still like why did I not make this like a natural barrier whatever okay this is a natural barrier now and we have this one-way glass obviously uh, rotated to the wrong way um, so let's gonna do it that way my, the main issue now is obviously the keepers cannot go into the other area we are going to try to solve this with an overpass but yeah I'm, I'm not even sure how exactly I should do it or like with a tunnel but you know problem being is that the keepers even though realistically they just could go there um, they are not within the habitat so they you know just don't do it um, and since the the keepers also cannot go through water anymore I cannot use the water trick either way so this is a little bit of an unfortunate thing but yeah so what we are going to do first obviously is just bring in the one-way glass all over here as well just to make sure that we have this uh, inside these things too. Uh, the other side as well, just like this. And then, yeah, we lower it down so that the rope just goes across. And then let's change the direction. There you go. This might be better as well. And then we're going to do the same over here so that people can see them still. And I don't know if this makes the whole situation better for them, but I, I really do hope so that this uh, does help first of all. If not, we need to completely change it, but this is the first little act I'm trying to do here uh, in order to make sure that this habitat is a bit more enjoyable for the lemurs. And yeah, so uh, we're just going to try bring this in as well. So this is uh, nice indeed. Now, obviously, as soon as I hit play again, the keepers will not be able to go here anymore. Like, okay, let's just unpause the game. And then you will see there will be in a second, there will be a note that um, the keeper cannot reach the item. Um, okay, this is the vet research. Okay, so then we have the cleanliness and what is stressed. Okay, where's the cleanliness thing? Um, I'm confused that the keeper is not... Okay, so why is the keeper not complaining that it can't go there? Animal is stressed, low welfare, yeah, that's still the same. There you go, okay, so that, that's what I was waiting for. So the keeper cannot go there, they didn't change anything about the system, which is unfortunate, but you can see that the animals are still quite stressed over here. Um, 
I mean, sure, obviously they are stressed when they cross this bridge over here. They are pretty stressed indeed. Like this one seems to do, ah, oh, well, no, it doesn't seem to do that well. I was also thinking to give them something below here. So more like a tunnel, you know what I mean? The more is like a tunnel rather than um, an actual rope. So that could also be why the keepers uh, can have a better time. I think this is what I'm going to do. I don't know if this works, but we will have to see. Now, as for this building over here, where the people can cross through, um, I need to build this completely different. And it, I mean, they're like super stressed. Look at that. They are just like incredibly stressed. And when they're like here, I don't know. Well, you are not as stressed, which is which is good. I don't know if it's because the people are not as loud in here or whatever. But overall, this is like very, very tedious work here. Um, I'm, I'm quite happy with how this turned out to be looking because the animals can just move around in here and stuff. But we are going to try to make the bridge work now. Okay, so first of all, let's delete um, the ropes because the, we, we are just going to create like a, a bridge design now that the keepers can take as well. And I really do hope that this works out just the way I'm hoping it will be. There's another rope we need to delete. All right, so let's do the same. Okay, no, that wasn't that wasn't a good idea. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Mm -hmm. I'm really questioning, like, if that makes sense what I'm doing over here, or if I just could scrap it. I think you know what I'm doing. I think I'm gonna scrap this part of the habitat either way. This I I will leave this as an as a just as a kind of. Uh, showcase what it could be but i won't have any animals in there i guess yeah no i think i'm gonna open up this area over here like a lemur island i think this is the the better idea i'm sorry but this this will be this won't be a good thing to do i will build them an overpass which is only for the lemurs i'm gonna put some stuff in here which is which doesn't matter if the keepers cannot reach it but um i'm gonna open up the whole thing now to this side so i'm gonna keep this as much as i can but what i will do is i'm gonna delete this one and then there will be a ditch down here and then there's gonna be like a little bridge so they can go to the island i think this is a fairly nice idea so we're gonna and then we can also put some ringtail lemurs in here as well okay first of all bring the little lake or whatever hidden here so this is going to be this is going to be that and then going to try to make that like really close to here just like that it is also a bit deeper uh, let's smooth that out a bit no one needs to have that like so ugly but we're gonna make it this way and so the people can have a better view over here but the animals have a bit more privacy I think this is the better idea um, in order to make this whole habitat a lot more accessible for the animals and enjoyable as well and also to make sure that we are getting rid of of all these weird protesters which do annoy me quite honestly um so yeah we we need to do this overhaul there's there's no other chance i'm gonna i'm gonna make like a nice looking island in the middle okay so guys as as a little little treat i'm gonna make this we have eight minutes in i i want to try to limit this to like 40 minutes max today so we're gonna see okay is this the height we can go oh this is awesome this is exactly what i wanted awesome okay so what we need to do we can flatten this to the foundation in here the the reason why i'm doing it this way now is i just want to make sure it's exactly the same height because i like that it is so close to the height with the water to the side so there you go and now what we need to do we just smooth it out here as well we don't need to make this too big like in the middle of this place it shouldn't be too gigantic we can just smooth it a bit more here so the bridge doesn't need to be that long let's quickly check yeah, okay, Maha, I might just need to raise this a tiny little bit, like so, and then, because I want to make sure that they still, yeah, that, that is a lot better, that is a lot better, we can just also drag it out a bit more to this side here then, just to make this outlet not like too roundish, there you go, this looks awesome indeed, so this is exactly the the kind of island I wanted to do and what we are going to use in the background is this wonderful uh, wall from Haribo I just love that one so much we're going to use this uh, in the back here as a wonderful backside uh, yeah almost like texture if you will um, because I think this one looks absolutely freaking gorgeous and I think it deserves the space and the place in here uh, once we just use it 
um, because I, I want to make sure that we also have some variation in the back faces. You know, if, if this is like looking like so, yeah, it kind of really gives a good context to it. It looks, uh, it, you know, you can use it in, in many different areas, but I think it fits the tropical vibe uh, quite nicely indeed. Now let's just quickly do all of that here. So that should be fine. I mean, I don't need to care about escaping animals anyhow. So we're just going to make like a li little simple bridge here. It's not going to be incredibly crazy. I'm just thinking if this island is still big enough. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I think it is definitely big enough, but um, the, the problem is, is, is that okay for the animals? Whatever. I'm gonna put like a little um, nice rock in the middle. This is what we are going to do. We're going to build the rock in the middle now. It's going to be exactly what we need in order to have them climbing a lot and you know being higher up in here just to make sure that this also looks nice and yeah just overall give them give them nice things to be chilling at you know uh, making sure that this area is really looking nice as well for the for the guests and for for the lemurs themselves so they can have a bit of privacy in there yeah that's kind of the lemur island i was thinking about and we're just gonna make like a lot of rope designs going on here some 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 climbing stuff but yeah first of all we just need to make sure that there's the bridge let's go to habitat and then i'm going to use this one i'm going to use this simple thing just to make sure that the uh, freaking keepers can also use it i'm i'm really not keen on on having more issues in here with the lemurs so that is why i'm going to do it simple af this time <laughs> uh, just to make sure that there is like no big deal uh, either with the keepers or with the animals because I I truly think that this is not good for a franchise mode so we're going to just do it that way yeah so that bridge should definitely work and before we do the rest I'm just going to make sure that uh, the habitat overall is changed so edit the barrier I'm going to leave this in and just going to delete this bit over here wait do we need that wall yeah, well, kind of, but it's it's just like that little bit down here. We will be able to fill in with the normal wall as well. There you go. And then what we just do, we just follow along. You know what? No, we just follow along. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is going to, to break away. Um, it's getting better, better day by day. So what we do, we're just going to uh, follow this back side along. There we go. Now we can make it also roundish and just like so. And we can also put some, oops, uh, some plants in between. I'm gonna drag this out even more, why not? And then just so that we follow along exactly like here. And just drag that out even further then. And hello, can I just, yeah. No, I mean, just like a little bit like so. Okay, it's awesome. <clears throat> and I think we can just, you know, go with the natural water over here, why not? It doesn't matter, we can just do it that way. And yeah, boom, connect this here, awesome. So this is exactly what we needed over here. And then, um, honestly, I could just, to make it more simple, I think it would be easy to just take that one and connect this to here, I don't know. All right, uh, oh, that was stupid, that was stupid. It's still within the habit, I need to bring them further back, okay, boom, 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 boom. They are all, I should, be able to I should be able to still move them right move yeah okay 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 because that's the um, that's the one thing um, okay what happens now is it is it transferred there it's not they seem to be oh god they seem to be escaped because oh god okay I made this stupid mistake mistake because I thought I could easily just move them over now but it appears I can't so Okay, let's quickly search for the animals then real quick. Uh, animals, okay. So these... What about you? Hey, what about... Okay, so this is escape emergency. Emergency. Okay, so emergency capture that one. Let's have another look. Where is the other animal? There's one more. It's just lovelyly sleeping in here. Emergency capture. Yeah, you will do the job later, I know. I know you will. Okay, so there is no animal in that area over here, right? No, it's not. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we delete also this rope. We don't need this rope anymore. So animals cannot go in here as of now. 
but they will be able to go there by um, yeah just building them a little bridge design so what we're going to use is we're going to use this pole over here and then we're just going to bring this over to the other side as it was before let's look at that okay that looks good just gonna bring this down a bit more like so and then we just take the very short one to connect this uh, oh well I can just use the one longer then and connect this over here great and now this is actually the first thing we did but what we're gonna do now and this is really I think important to do is we're going to use this bin and we're going to build like a little bit lower part here that hopefully hides them away a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to do it that way. And then I'm going to drag this out, do it like so. I mean, they, they surely can climb there. I don't care too much, but I really do hope they just use the middle piece um, like so. Okay, I'm going to create a building out of that. Uh, just to make sure I can use this a little bit easier. All right, oh, I'm just kind of sweating away here, guys. It's so hot in this room. It's also why I want to limit this episode. It's really exhausting. I hope that my AC is coming sooner than later. I, I did order one because this summer is not going to be doable without one in this room. It's incredibly hot already. And it's not like the weather is warm today. So we are uh, very close to 30 degrees already in Germany at the moment. But um, they expect another heat summer, uh, a crazy, incredible heat summer. And I want to be prepared because, uh, yeah, in this room, it's easily reaching high temperatures. And as well, not only the temperatures, but also like humidity wise. And so I've got like an air cleaner, uh, climate thingy, whatever you want to call it. And I really do hope it does the job. But yeah. Okay, let's quickly unpause the game and see what happens with the habitat. Now, as I did this, um, I guess I just want to wait that they bring all the animals in. Animal is stressed, animal is stressed. Yeah, but th now it should all be better. The animals should be quickly having less stress now. Which animal? <clears throat> yeah, just go to your island and you won't have any more stress. Okay, I'm just going to quickly check the traversable area now. All right, this is this is awesome. So there seems to be they they can go here. They cannot escape. Then can go all over the place if they want. There is a uh, reason for them to go here. Great. And obviously the feeding station cannot be reached. It's not a big issue because what we need to do now is we're gonna. I wonder if I leave this and I'm just gonna delete the feeding station. All right. So just do that. Um. Why is this not moved? Because it is in the habitat or what is going on? I just want to make sure that this is being moved. Is it transferred over? I thought flying. Oh yeah, it is. All right, great. So this is one. Wasn't there another one? Because I'm just wondering, I could leave this habitat open, you know, just leave it open and people would still go in there because officially it is still part of the habitat like that but they cannot traverse into this area, which I think is totally fine. You know what I mean? I think this is, I think this is the, the best way of doing it. Low welfare? Why? Is that still stress? Yeah, it still is stress and I think it is in here because of also because of the, the sound level, I guess. So we're going to throw down a lot of these signs now. So this, this turb, right? Hey, what's that? Please don't just align to anything. So just put this thing all over here. Just to make sure that these people stop shouting at them. Why are you keeping... I disabled align to uh, something and it's kind of aligns to people. I, I do hate it. Okay, so we have to monitor if the animals uh, do better now. Um, because if not, I will also need to... I will also need to cut this down, but uh, what are you even doing here? Wait. Oh, they can run across that one. Well, if they cannot escape, I am, I am, I'm fully happy. Just do it if you think it's fine. Why not? All right, so they seem to go over to this island quite a lot. They seem to be happy. They seem to be climbing around quite a bit. Uh, I want to give them some more climbing opportunities inside the water. Okay, so we are like 19 minutes in. 
that is good because then there is quite a bit of time left to you know finish this nice looking area off just gonna make sure that they have a bit more to sit on and climb on you know just give them some opportunities also here in the back and we're just now starting to connect all of that okay let's go to habitat and stick some of the poles in here i'm just gonna put some of the poles everywhere in different heights and then we will connect this with the um yeah basically with um ropes this is all i want to do so just put them all in here and then we are going to connect some uh, platforms to sit on everywhere just gonna check that I take something else um, and yeah since the keepers can come here I will definitely also give them the forage box uh, in here as well this is gonna be here it shouldn't transform the ground it does not awesome so it's got forage box and um, then let's say lemur because that is definitely the one thing they have I'm gonna put them the mobile up here and then yeah, I'm gonna, okay, I need to first of all build the platforms, but I don't wanna, you know, climbable platform is all fine. But I think I wanna try something in here. So let's say wood, and then, yeah, no, I, oh, whatever. I'm gonna just click that and I like this African hut thing because it looks quite nice. I really hope they can go on that because this looks, for me personally, I like this more than the other stuff. So let's just, okay, look at that, it just goes in between those two that is awesome and then I can also have one higher up here just like so I would love to now I'm gonna connect this this way I don't want to have them bug in in there so I'm just gonna bring this platform down here as well and maybe the other one goes up here and we just connect this with some uh, stones or whatever in between that should be all fine and then I'm gonna give them the same platform, just a little bit in here, you know, a bit like that. I think that should be fine. So what is that? What, what did I? What did I? Get? What did I do? Adopt exhibit species. Okay, whatever. I've did. I've done that. This is all good. Anyone special in here? Everyone is special. I mean, but still. <laughs> okay, so it all looks good. Inspection is going on. Awesome. While well, our animals were stressed and stuff, we have the inspection going on. What a freaking disaster. Okay, never mind. So now what we're gonna do is put down rope. Oh, and actually let's pause the game quickly because the rain is approaching. I don't wanna have the rain while building. Um, Is this African rope also climbable, by the way? It's not, right? No, okay. I thought this was also climbable, but it's not apparently, um, but it's okay. So let's use the four meter straight rope first and I, Okay, so we do have also, is this the two meter curved one? This is the four meter curved one, right? I am a little bit split because I want this actually to be, oh, well, it does connect. Okay, so let's do this exactly like so then. Awesome, so that does connect. Um, let's see that we can connect most of them with the four meter rope. So this is not working, right? This is not working. So I'm gonna make this hang in a little bit more. And then I should be able to just fake it a little bit like so. And then bring that in here so that we have the same kind of angle. There you go. Awesome. I mean, we're going to just relocate this thing over here then. Because I'm too lazy to, to make the rope exactly the same position. So I'm going to just delete this. Awesome. That looks kind of nice, right, doesn't it? Okay, so let's go to construction. Then we also, you know, we just take also like a very straight one here, why not? And just gonna do it like this. And let's see that we find the right angle. Yep, this seems to be it. And then just pull it down, boom. Okay, that looks good, that looks good. So they have a bit of a climbing, climbing frame here. You know what, uh, we could also give them like a little bit of a connection to this platform here. And then why not why not have this go up here like so? Um, you know what we do? We just do it like this and then connect that. I really do hope it works. Like we have it like this and we just give them the rope now to climb up that area. Oh my lord, what is this weird connection? Oh whatever. We're just gonna do it. So um I'm gonna go into this viewing again i think that is just fine and then oh it does connect boom okay awesome so they can just go up here and now let's give them another connection from here 
I have no clue, by the way, if that works, guys. I'm just going to throw them, them pieces down right now to make sure uh, we do connect them and then we will go from there. I think it's maybe working, maybe not. I'm just going to move everything into position so that it does look kind of good, I guess. Uh, but, um, you know, I have the feeling it should work. We also get a lot of ringed held lemurs in here because we have a lot more space. At least I do hope that the animals consider this being more space. If not, well, we are screwed. Um, but, you know. Okay, so I want to have this one now connect to this pole up there. Is that even working or is the angle too crazy? I think it might work. Um, if we get a bit closer. That looks, that looks awesome indeed already. Let's see. It's kind of steep, but I think no, it's fine. It looks good and it's fine. Oh my, that's good. That's great. So I really hope that this creates a nice little area for them here. And let me just also pull that pole down here so I can just climb up there, climb up down. Um, and then, you know what we could do? Just like also have like a hanging rope here if we want. So that one just hangs down in here that's not really straight right we could but we could you know we could just keep that like so and then it would actually be connected with like a little hook down there we can even like kind of make a hook if we want but so it almost looks like it is meant to be this way look at that so there's a whole bunch of climbing going on i'm gonna just pull that one down here as well and now we need to connect these things Good lord, this is weird. Why is it connecting so weirdly here? Okay, never mind. We're just going to do it that way, and that way, and just like so. And are we, yeah, we're hitting it. That's fine. Just gonna drag this in. Awesome. Now, then another connection will be from here to up there. This is going to be interesting. This is going to be interesting. Um, if we can deliver again, I think we can. That looks good. Uh, yeah, that should. Oh, it just goes ever so like No, it works. I'm gonna, I'm gonna connect it like this. Yeah, it works. So they can just basically run in a circle if they want. Um, not sure how exactly it will look in the end, but you know what? We just see how it turns out to be looking. So I want to connect this pole, this pole, like a triangle shape here, and then we are done with the rope work mostly. So I'm just gonna see that we will. Uh, you know, find the right position to go. Let me just check this one. Okay. So, uh, hello. Hello. Come down, please. Come down. Oh, God. So, there you go. A little bit up would be nice. Yeah, this is, this is it. And a tad bit to this side. That should work. Let's see. Yeah. Boom. We hit it. Awesome. Okay. So now let's do the same again to the other side there. Just see that we hit this pole. I'm quite sure that the angle is not correct yet, but so this should be the right angle and a little bit higher up as well. Good, let's do it. Oops, let's see if we, first of all, if we hit it. Yes, we do hit it. And then let's connect the ropes. Wow, that's quite a long rope then, but it's okay. Usually I should make it hang in, but I think it's fine this way. I'm just thinking if I leave it that way, but no, I think I'm give them a little bit more options now to climb there again, and then it should look good. Okay, so let's just rotate this one and bring it into this piece. I'm just gonna make sure that this is a little bit higher up here so that they are not all the same height. And now let's see that we hit this pole there. I think the angle is quite okay already. A little bit more to the left. Yeah, that should be fine. And now only just the height a little bit better. There you go. Yeah, we hit it. Awesome. And boom, there you go. Okay, so this is all built. I think it looks fairly decent. I think it looks fairly, fairly decent. Okay, now what we do, we are going to put down now some trees, first of all. I think the lemurs are Madagascar, right? So that means Africa, tropical biome, tropical continent, Africa. So that's what we need. I'm just going to plop down some palm trees here and there, you know, just to give them the, uh, the, the kind of stuff they need. We also have this wonderful kapok tree. Uh, we're gonna put in the back 
Um, it's not like, you know, they cannot climb it, but whatever. Um, just gonna just bring in a bit of the foliage they know and love and uh, to make them feel home, you know. And, you know, we could also give them like the fig tree down here just in the back to, you know, adjust this a little bit better, make it a bit more overgrown. I still want to make sure that, you know, most of the island is uh, quite obviously an open, not much. I, I don't want to make it overgrown at all. I just could imagine giving them, oops, uh, this one on top here. So it kind of embedded in the stone. Yeah, I think I like it. Give them a bit of shade there. Why not? I think it looks it looks okay. And I like these roots. You know, they could be they could be hanging down here a little bit to make it a bit more overgrown, jungle-ish. I don't know. You know, just a little bit like this. Nothing, nothing major, nothing crazy. Uh, isn't there like a bigger root thing going down on here? Yeah, you can you can just always have it. Put a bit of this weird stuff in the water just take the big patch here just make the water look a bit nicer there you go a bit more overgrown i really hope they cannot walk in it <laughs> uh yeah just give them a bit of greenery here yes like this and then i don't know if that makes sense but i just want to throw that into the water just give a bit of green stuff peeking through here and there. Just like that, okay. So we're getting there. We are actually getting there, guys. Okay, so habitat and let's say... Le well, we are already doing this for the lemurs. So let's pull down some of their toys. I think also the, the musical keyboard needs to be somewhere because they were missing out on that somewhere else. Um, we're also giving them uh, this thing to play with because this is still where the keeper can go. Let's plop that here. And we can also give them a sprinkler. Sprinkler is always way overpowered, but they love it. So I'm giving them the sprinkler. Yeah, I think that's fine. Can we do anything else in the back here? Yeah, why not the suspended forager thing for tree? Okay, now let's hit play. Has been in a box for too long. Okay, why not just unbox the animal then? There you go. Okay, I think... I think that should be good and I think they should be able to reach everything right now. Let me just quickly check. Uh, okay, so that looks that looks totally decent to me. They just cannot reach this platform down here for whatever reason. Mm. How about the space though? Okay, space is space is way way better than expected. So look at that! The animals just come in here already. Just can run over. Oh, because it's raining. Okay, yeah. I mean, I, I knew it's gonna be raining. But look at look at that. This is the this is the perfect um, example of what we should do. Okay. And you know what we do? We are now 32 minutes in, which is great because now we can get some ringtail lemurs, and then it's all good. So let's do this. Um, we just get a bunch of ringtail lemurs. I'm gonna get four first, and just hoping that they, um, yeah, that they will just breed quite a bit. Okay. So, oh my lord, look at the gold star one here. It's quite cheap. Four point, uh, ten point three years. That's fine. I'm gonna adapt this one, and this one is fine for money. That's good. Okay. Now let's filter for the female ones. Filter. Hello. Eeh. Are you kidding? What? You're just telling me there are only male ringtail lemurs at the moment. Wow. Just wow. Okay. Well then, let's put those two already in. Uh, where are they? There you go. I think I do have some in my zoos as well, in my other zoos, and I could bring some female ones in. But um, yeah, maybe if I don't get any, I will do this. But yeah, for now. That should be all good. Oh, by the way, I also need to get a cheetah. Um, our cheetah did die. So what else? Do we have like a... We do have a very inquieto one. Look at this one. Uh, I'm not sure if we... Let me just quickly check my animals. I think at the moment we only have a male one. Is that correct? No, we only have a female cheetah. So we need a male cheetah. Okay, let's, let's quickly check this while we wait for that so this is the cheetah habitat right yeah okay so do we have a male cheetah still available i'm not sure no we don't we don't okay let's quickly check this first because there seems to be no female ringtail lemur available at the moment so it's gonna go and go and look for a male cheetah i really do also have the feeling that there is a huge um kind of uh, you know 
the, the male animals seem to be a lot more available in this game in general. I don't know why, but it almost feels like that you always have this um, opportunity to get the males way more easy than the females. But yeah, so it's gonna get cloudy again. The ringtail lemur has arrived. The island looks kind of nice. You know what we do? We just slap a very simple fa uh, fence now to this side here. I'm not gonna do it red. I'm gonna go for like a really <clears throat> a poppy green. This is uh, might be a tad bit too poppy for my taste. Yeah, let's go. Let's go with this one. Look at that. Okay, so I'm just gonna gonna follow the lines here, easy as we go. Um, Red Ref Lemur is about to inbreed. No, don't don't just do this. Okay, there are so many animals. You don't need to do this at all. Okay, well then let's do our construction again. Why is the color gone? Give me back my color, please. There you go. Okay, now we're just going to bring this fence down here so the uh, people are not like going nuts in here and just going crazy and swim over to pet the animals. Look at how much people are in here already. Yeah, it, it seems to be also a way better viewing experience for the, for the guest. Um, I don't know if it makes sense to also put some be quiet signs in here. I guess it almost is, but you know what. Um, so what I do next is I'm gonna just paint this area here in long grass. Okay, next day arriving. So maybe just go with two, there you go. Just paint this long grass to make this look a bit more jungle-ish here. There you go, also a bit long grass here. I don't know if they like long grass, but for the moment this uh, seems to be a better idea for me. Now let's have a look how the animals do with the terrain. Terrain is all fine and they have a wonderful welfare. I clicked the coconut, but the coconut tree is also very happy, okay? <laughs> so let's uh, grab some of the uh, donation bins and slap them in here. If this is uh, one of the lemurs being stressed, I'm gonna get rid of them. <laughs> no, I think I'm gonna make like uh, another sound barrier or whatever in the front. What the actual F? How can you be stressed in the back here? How on earth and what are you all doing? This is incredible. I've never seen so many animals at this thing at, at once. Oh my. What's going on? You are having no energy whatsoever, is that correct? Staff training, there you go. All right, so this looks this looks decent, guys. I think this looks really decent. We are near to 40 minutes mark. Um, I'm just going to take some of these signs and uh, put them down in order to make sure they shut the fuck up. <laughs> and uh, there you go. And now the next thing we are just going to do is we do education sign. Uh, yeah, whatever, I'm gonna use my Yosemite Valley version here, why not? One, it's not a bison though. <laughs> uh, there you go, red raft, and this is the ringtailed. There you go, and you will also be educated by an education. Oops, I need this educational speaker, which I'm going to plop down in the middle here. There you go. And now I'm just going to bring this into the ground. Ah, uh, there you go. And you are all going to be educated. There you go. Maybe I just need to move that a bit more here. And then I'm just gonna move this over to that side as well to not stress the animals. There we go. And I think <laughs> I need to go into the ground now. There you go. This is it. And we're just going to make this ringtail lever. So they get the education to both sides. Even though like people are doing a lot more better now. That is what I wanted to do. Look at they are still stressed. Are you kidding me? Why are they just not getting somewhere else then? I do know what I need to do now. So I'm gonna take this fucking rock. I'm gonna put this here. Like this. So they have a bit more privacy in the back here from the people. I think I think that's good. Look at look at how they are climbing like everywhere. I mean it's floating a bit, but yeah, that's fine. So just go and get yourself some. I don't really get this. I don't really get this. Okay, last last check if we find the um, 
Animal trading. A female ringtail lemur, that would be... Did I get the male one now, though? Did I throw it also in the... Is this... I, I did get one, right? I'm not really sure if I did get one. I will check this later, but now. Um, let's go for the... Ringtail lemur again. Where is it? No, that's the red rough. Uh, Ringtail lemur, filter... Oh yeah, there you go. Female one. Hello. Check, 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 check. Both. Oh my. Oh well, I'm, I'm still getting you. Alright, good. So this is what I wanted. This is what I needed. And then we have enough animals in this wonderful lemur habitat environment. The changed one, the overhauled one, which I think works a lot better. I mean, some of them potentially might be stressed in between still. But I, there's only so much I can do about it. I mean, I could I could just kind of increase the distance between the island and this a lot more. But I think it's all fine and this is what we needed. Okay, guys, this is it for today's episode. 40 minutes. I hit the mark. I mean, that's incredible. I really hope you enjoyed this overhaul of the, ring uh, uh, the lemur habitat in general. And if you have any idea what we can do with this open area now, because there is, um, yeah quite a bit of uh, space now because obviously this whole area is not unused so if you've got ideas what we can put in here what the hell how did you escape how how do they escape okay I was just doing my ending and this animal just showed me that there seems to be a problem about the habitat how and where can they escape I don't really get this, to be honest. There is no sign whatsoever that they could escape. I will have to monitor that a bit better. But yeah, so you go in here. See you later then. Okay, um, I'm still doing my ending now, guys. <laughs> uh, I really hope you enjoyed today's episode of the um, dangerous fight to overcrowding. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna release quickly my 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 jacks. Um, they they just matured, so. We need to make sure that we do release them and contribute also to the wonderful um, challenge that is going on at the moment. So we do have our... Oh God, look at all these animals. So we have... Um, I'm going to keep in this one, obviously, but I'm going to sell... Yeah, I'm going to sell this one. Um, and these two, right? Yeah, so we leave them with one golden to... Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, release to the wild. See you later then. Good, okay, so now it's 30, uh, 42 minutes. I'm sorry, but the game just uh, screwed my outro. Now, guys, I really do hope you enjoyed today's episode. I really do hope you enjoy your Monday, and I'll wish you all a happy week. In case you haven't seen, for whatever reason, my Jumanji habitat, I did another movie habitat. Make sure to check it out. I will definitely um, put a link to the top right um, somewhere in the episode and also to the playlist for all the movie habitats, and you can check it out. And until then, have a wonderful day. Enjoy your day and stay safe everyone goodbye